my guy. Did you know YouTube earned more than $28 billion in 2021? In one month, 2.5 billion humans will visit YouTube at least one time. That's about 30 billion eyeballs a year that could be watching your videos if you had a YouTube channel. These next four categories are gonna cover your niche, some software, some hardware, and finally some revenue streams. Ways that you can make some money without having to spend any of your own. Let's get started on identifying and monetizing your hobbies or interests on YouTube today. Your niche is the most important foundation to which you will build your channel on. When I started my channel, I didn't exactly know what it would be about. What I was most passionate about, that ended up becoming my niche. I noticed the lack of something and decided to fulfill the need for that content. I finally found my own lane. I finally found my niche. But not all niches are created the same. If you're having a problem finding a niche, then try using Google Trends. Type in a search term, change the filter to YouTube searches to see just how popular that niche or topic is. And then first and foremost, make sure you're creating content about something you're actually passionate about. The more interest you have in the subject, the more work you're willing to put in. When it comes to making high quality productions, you don't have to shell out big bucks. There's open source freeware options available. And one of those for graphic design, I'm gonna suggest GIMP, the GNU image manipulation software. This is your free alternative to Photoshop for all your graphic needs. I highly suggest you use this. Now, when it comes to vector art, we're gonna talk about Inkscape. This is your free alternative to Adobe Illustrator with SVG and PSD support. If you wanna start making logos and vector art, this is your go-to and is compatible with GIMP. Now, let's say you wanna start producing some soundscapes and some maybe some beats for your videos. You now have the power to do that with Cakewalk 100% free. All the sound editing packages you think, VST3 support. This is your alternative to Ableton Live or Fruity Loops Studios. Now for streaming or screen capture content, OBS is the way to go. OBS is your number one utility for all streamers. All those little cool bells and whistles you see are powered by OBS source code or OBS itself. All those little widgets and cool effects when people subscribe or donate, these are all plugins. Uh, OBS is hands down, it's hands down a very vital tool and a tool I use to make this video. Now we're gonna talk about Blender 3D, make some free 3D, I'm talking uh, game sculpting, video effects, post effects, 2D and 3D animation. We've got 3D sculpting, it's got a game engine, physics engine, simulations, and so much more. Blender 3D is a lot in one. Okay, so you've got your graphics, you've got your sound, you've got your captured content, your vector, and all that cool little bells and whistles that go along with producing some high quality content. Let's tie it all together with DaVinci Resolve 18. This is completely 100% free video editing, sound production, motion graphics, all the cool accoutrements that you would come to expect with some professional video editing software for 100% free. You might not use all of these, but at least some of these are gonna help you achieve high quality production value on your brand new content. What I'm gonna showcase to you folks is some of the hardware, some of the gear that I own, that I use, and would recommend you possibly invest in when you're starting your YouTube journey. But let's not waste any time. Here's the hardware showcase. So let's talk about the mic that I'm using to record this video. This is the Tonar TC20, $49.99 on Amazon right now. Uh, I believe it's listed at $93.99. So if you buy right now, you're gonna save like 47%. Now what we're gonna talk about next is the mixer that I use. This is the Pile Pad 20 MXU 5380, five channel mixer. It's got tape in, tape out, line in, 
and as well as an XLR and monitoring and headphones. It's decent for what I use it for. It's powered by a USB, just plug it right into my PC and it's good to go. I also use a Toshiba Canvio Advanced one terabyte portable external SSD hard drive, USB 3.0 in black. It is $99 on Amazon. I think I actually got it for cheaper, but it is listed at $117. So if you act now, 15% off. And of course, I do use the ASUS USB BT400 USB adapter with Bluetooth dongle for whenever I'm playing with uh, my controller on my computer. I play with a PS4 controller, which you can also pick up right now on Amazon.com. The Florion BM800 condenser mic with pop filter. And I've also got the Zing U counterpart, which is basically the same exact microphone just with a different brand. Now the Zing Yu condenser mic, you can get for $29.99 right now on Amazon if you act. Another bit of hardware that I have and I use occasionally is the Roland VT3 vocal effects processor that also kind of doubles as a USB interface as well. And if you don't see yourself shelling out that much dough for a mic, get this cheap one for 55 bucks, the Asmuse condenser mic bundle. It's a microphone and a USB mixer and interface all in one. Stereo, programmable, all that cool shit. Out. All right, so money. Let's talk about how we're going to make some without having to spend any in the revenue section via merchandise, free merch, and customer affiliate programs through different services and websites. So taking a look at Redbubble, they've got tons of products that you can put your design on. How it works is you upload your, design, your designs to products in your own shop. Customers find and purchase products they love featuring your designs and then the products are produced to order and shipped around the world. Basically, you can put your design on all kinds of things and when people buy it, Redbubble will fulfill it and ship it for you. Now, Redbubble is really cool. They started with clothing, tons of different options here. Now let's talk about Cafe Press. They pretty much pioneered this internet business uh, platform of putting your design on products that they offer. Now they do offer the same amount of products uh, as Redbubble, but one thing that sets them apart is licensed imagery. So you can do Andy Griffith Show, uh, Dexter, NCSI, all the way down to I Am Groot and Iron Man. Put your name on it. You can put your name on it. I Am Groot. I Am Once your channel gets a little bit bigger, then you can use this service uh, called Represent. They'll design your products, build an online store, fans purchase products, they will print, ship, and fulfill, and you get paid. Now let's talk about the Fiverr Commission CPA versus the Fiverr Hybrid Plan. Now for the Fiverr CPA plan, it's very to the point and direct for every one of these particular categories of jobs you sell, you get 15 to 150, whereas the hybrid, you'll automatically get $10 CPA and then <clears throat> a 10% revenue share off every additional service in a 12 month period. So for the CPA, it's broken down like this. You have your highest tier being at $150, then below that is 50, and then it consecutively gets lowered depending on the category. Now this only pertains to first time buyers. So if someone uses your link, it's their first time buying on the platform or going through your referral, I assume, then you'll get that one time cash incentive. Whereas if we look at, look at the hybrid plan, you'll get an automatic $10 CPA when someone uses a service through Fiverr. But for every additional service they use in a 12 month span, you're also going to get 10% of every one of those transactions. So for the long term, uh, uh, the revenue share for the hybrid system, it works flat out. And if you can target something uh, more honed into the Fiverr CPA uh, scheme, then either one of these is a, is a win-win. Next, we'll take a look at the Amazon Associates. It's pretty simple. So just like I showed you in the hardware section, I simply can find any product that is listed on Amazon and create an Amazon affiliate link that people can click on and that you can then get a commission based on what that product is and what category it retains to. And now taking a look at the Epic 
like support a creator program same thing uh not only can you sell v bucks you get a creator code and for instance i can find any game that's being sold on the epic game store like grand theft auto 5 for instance and i can create a referral link using that i'll get a five percent revenue share on that sale and it's the same thing <clears throat> anyone can use your code be taken to the store buy the product and then you'll get your five percent okay and i'm saving the best for last this is the adobe affiliate program they say cool stuff like you can earn attractive commission uh, outstanding commission structure and you can make even more money than you thought possible let's see what they're talking about so you can get paid for two types of yearly subscriptions right you have your yearly subscription that's billed every month and then there's the yearly subscription that's one time payment up front. So for that monthly bill, uh, the yearly subscription with a monthly payment, uh, you're gonna get 85% commission for that first month, depending on what it is. Yearly subscription, you're gonna get a one time commission of 8.33%. For the monthly subscription, depending on what they pay in their first month, you're gonna get 85% of that initial commission. So if it's a $54 purchase, you're getting 85% of that one time. But again, where some bread and butter here is, is the commission for Adobe stock. So monthly subscription, that's 72 bucks. Yearly subscriptions, you'll get a monthly payment of $72. And for single purchases, 8.33%. Uh, three standard assets with a monthly payment, you get 85% of that first month as your commission. So the really cool thing is that you can target this towards businesses, individuals, educational institutions. There is going to be a package product or bundle, some kind of special offer designed for that particular group. Like this example I'm showing you right here. Save 63% with an educational discount. Look at that price. That's no joke. So I think it's a really enticeable uh, affiliate program. So I don't think this is going to be a hard sell for anybody. Adobe is a trusted name, well known, and uh, we're gonna give this a test drive. That's revenue streams, folks. I hope it made sense to you. There are so many other different ways and programs out there that you can go about getting money. Let this video be the building blocks to start something new because everything we've covered in here, you maybe don't have to use it all at once, but we've compiled an infinity gauntlet of possibilities. This is just designed to get you started because we're gonna be springboarding into a little series of other videos to show you how to get your money up. Once you get enough money, you can hop on over to the hardware section and start making some high quality content. Maybe you wanna go ahead and get a little bit of money and get one of those adobe cloud services like adobe premiere adobe after effects illustrator or photoshop and by all means if you don't even want to do any of that stuff you can always hit up fiverr down in the description we have all the links to all the services products and things you saw in today's video i'm your guy very high and i hope to see you in the next video to show you how to dream it how to think it and how to do it